Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide YouTube channel and the fourth video of Office 365 Hybrid Configuration. Mohammed Niaz with you today. In this video, we're going to see the different stages that comes in the migration of mailbox users from on-premises to Office 365. In the first video, you saw how to create a tenant and how to verify that Office 365 tenant with your a domain and the second video we see how to synchronize the active directory and the last video you saw how to set up a hybrid configuration using hybrid configuration wizard so the next stage is to migrate your users from on-premises to office 365 so let's see how to do this now all the required setup has done now it's time to start the migration so open your exchange admin center then go to recipients now you can see only one user that is cloud user is available let's go to migration and create a new migrate to exchange online batch so you can you can see there are different options here for us I'm working with an exchange server 2010 version so go for the first one and select the users that you want to add it is always advised to select some text users, one or two users and see the effect impact in your organization. Now enter the domain administrator credentials for your uh, on-premises exchange server. Then click next. Your migration endpoint is your exchange server. So give fully qualified domain name of your exchange server then click next then give a batch name let's say batch one then enter the bad item limit this is same as you migrate between the exchange server and on premises then click next your preference at this point is very important you can see i select automatically start the batch and manually complete the batch after i click complete this migration batch so in this way it wait until I say that complete this migration batch even the synchronization has completed between the online exchange and on-premises exchange so this is good for example if I start the migration in the weekend and it completed in the weekend it will still wait to switch over the connectivity from on-premises to online exchange until I press complete this migration batch the second option is automatically complete the migration batch in that way it will switch automatically from on-premises to online exchange so click new to start the migration now the synchronization is progressing so let's uh, see some other things the mail mouse migration is going on there so meanwhile let's have a look at the changes that happen to on-premises exchange server when you look at the mailbox recipients you will see there is uh, some difference in the icons uh, some highlights are there it's because this mailbox are migrating that's why then when you click on the email address you see there is an additional smtp address there like tuition to in dot mail dot on microsoft.com this addition is there for everyone it's not only for you and the answer for Microsoft is that you can't remove your own Microsoft domain because it's kept uh, it around because it is used behind the scenes of your subscription. This is the answer from them. So they are using it for something. That's why. Then when you go to the S accepted domains, you will see that the tuition tube dot mail dot on Microsoft is there. Then when you go to the default policy, you will see there is a policy addition. Uh, so that's why all the emails have this on, dot mail dot on Microsoft dot com then when you go to send connector you can see there is a additional send connector is there outbound to office 365 this send connector is going to use for sending emails uh, between your own organizations like from on premises to office 365 and the ports that need to be opened between on premises and online exchange we already discussed it so i'm not uh, going to mention it this here let's come back to the migration batch when you click the view details option you can see the first stage is validation once it complete the validation the next stage is synchronization at this time your mailboxes are synchronizing with the online exchange server if you want to see more detailed report that you can see from here you can see the details of data migrated and when you download the report for this particular user 
and open the notepad then you can see the progresses it gives you a time based uh, report about uh, each stage once the synchronization completed it will show you sync it now you can see both the mailboxes has synced it means the mailboxes synchronization has completed the next step is to click on complete this migration you can see in the batch below the batch one complete this migration before we go to complete this migration because when you click complete this migration it switch to online exchange let's open this mailbox from on premises enter the credentials now you can see even we completed the synchronization the mailbox is still operating from on premises exchange server when you look at the over you can understand that is this is 2010 exchange server now let's go back to the exchange admin center then click complete this migration so once you click complete this migration it means the mailbox control will be switched to online exchange let's again try to log in from the same over and see what will happen so now the control for this account has switched to online exchange and still i'm trying to log in now you can see it is showing a link because this has migrated to outlook.com so i have to use this link to open over so by this way if you have users who use over they will be switched automatically uh, they will be notified when they enter the url and the same for the outlook users if you have auto discover url uh, it automatically pop up for the username and password you just need to enter the username and password then it will be uh, okay for them so the interruptions are very less and it is like a very seamless migration that is all about users migration and if you see everything is fine with you then you can proceed to move other users into office 365 exchange when you look at the mailbox recipients you see there is only two users which we have just migrated to online exchange and when you go back to on premises exchange server the users we just migrated to online exchange have removed from the recipient list so the online exchange users you will not find here but you will find in active directory and the same way on premises exchange users you will not find in exchange admin center once you have a hybrid setup in your organization then people from on premises exchange server send email to online exchange server vice versa so you need to make sure that the email transport is healthy so for that you can come to connectors from online exchange admin center then you can test this one so to test this you need to click validate this connector so this will validate it You can see the operation has completed and the send text mail has succeeded. In the coming videos we will discuss about the mail flow like Office 365 or on premises setup. So that is all about this video. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos subscribe my YouTube channel.